All right, this is Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 14, and we are really continuing Lesson 13, where we are going to be finding the areas of figures by cutting them, decomposing them into smaller rectangles, or by uh, using subtraction, by completing the rectangle and then using subtraction to take away the missing piece. So on this problem, the way they drew it and, and this dotted line means they're really trying to tell us to use the addition method. So we're going to imagine that we're going to cut this big old figure into two smaller rectangles. So we have the rectangle up on top, we have the rectangle on the bottom. We're going to find the two areas of these two rectangles and then add them together. And so to get the top rectangle, we can see that the dimensions of that rectangle are right here. It's one side length is 8, the other side length is 6. So I'm going to put the top is 8 by 6, which is 48. And really I should put in square feet. And so I'm going to write that in right here, 48. And then we have the bottom rectangle. Now this bottom rectangle, we can see that one length is side length is 3, but what is this side length right here? And we can see by going all the way up here that if this is 9 feet, 6 plus 3, then down here this is 9 feet. right here. So that tells us that the bottom is 9 times 3, which is 27 square feet. So if we want to find the area of the whole figure, and that would be this whole thing, we're going to need to add together the two answers, which is 48 and 27. So 48 plus 27, adding the ones place, 8 plus 7 gives us 15. Carry the 1, bundle together a, a 1, 10 ones to equal a 10. And then adding the tens together, we've got 1, 10, plus 4 tens, plus 2 tens, so that is. 710. So our combined, our total answer is 75 square feet. So on this problem, they don't really tell us whether we should use the addition method or the subtraction method. And what I see is right here, this kind of looks like somebody took a bite out of our shape. And since it looks like somebody took a bite out of our shape, that tells me I'm going to use the subtraction method, which means what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend this whole rectangle is complete. I'm going to complete this whole rectangle and find the area of, of the whole rectangle, and then I'm going to subtract out the area of our little bite here. All right, So let's find the area of the whole rectangle. So the whole rectangle has one side length right here, and we can see that if we were to add them together, 5 plus 3 is 8. So this side length is 8, and this side length is 8. You can't really tell that this side length is 8, so you have to look up here, and this is 8. So we know that the whole rectangle is 8 times 8, which is 64. So the whole area, a whole rectangle, is 64, and I'm going to write 64 square inches. All right. Now, let's take a look at this little bite-sized piece right here. So this bite-sized piece, we can see that the height, this length right here, because they've told us over here it's 3. So we know that the one dimension, one side length of that rectangle, 
is 3. And now we have to figure out what is this bottom right here, this gap. Well, we see that the whole thing up here is 8. And down here, we have 2 and 4. Well, that's 6. So if we know that the whole thing is supposed to be 8, well, that means this missing piece has to be a 2. Because 4 plus 2 plus 2 gives us the 8 that we were expecting. So our little bite is 3 times 2, which is 6. So really, I should write 6 square inches. So the whole thing is 64, but we have a little bite of 6. So we're going to do 64 minus 6, and that gives us 58 square inches. So that is the area of the shaded portion of that figure. And the last slide of this video. They don't tell us what to do. They don't tell us to use the addition method or the subtraction method. We're just supposed to figure it out. Now, when I look at this problem, and teachers, you, you may have a different way to do it, and that's perfectly fine. In fact, there are other ways to do it. Uh, but I'm going to use the subtraction method because, man, anytime I see this, this hole right in the middle, that really tells me I'm probably going to do the subtraction method. But uh, students could use the addition method and chop this into a bunch of small little rectangles and, um, and add them together. But I'm going to use the subtraction method. So the subtraction method says, well, the first thing I'm going to do is figure out the area of the whole rectangle. And I can see that the dimensions, the side lengths of the whole rectangle, one side is 7, the other side here is 10, because it says so up here. So the whole rectangle is 7 times 10, which is 70 square feet. And now I want to figure out our little bite, our little hole that has been cut out. I don't like to, I just said the word hole. Don't get the word hole confused with the word hole. <laughs> we have a hole <laughs> that has been cut out. It's a square, or a rectangle, I mean. And we have to find the dimensions of this cut out piece. Well, we know this entire thing is 7. And then this is 2, and this is 2. So 2 plus 2 plus our missing piece here has to equal 7. So that means our missing length right here is 3, because 2 plus 3 plus 7 equals... I mean, 2 plus 3 plus 2 equals 7. In the same way, let's do this, this direction here. We have this missing length here. But we know the whole thing across is 10. This piece is 3. This piece is 2. So that leaves this piece right here to be 5. That's because 3 plus 5 plus 2 equals 10. So the whole, the cutout piece, and I'll call that, I don't like the, the fact that I'm calling it a, a, a hole because I don't want it to get confused with the word hole. So we're going to call that the cutout. And the cutout is 3 times 5, which is 15 square feet. So if we want to find the area of the shaded piece, we're going to do 70 minus 15 and get 55. So the shaded area, all this stuff on the outside, is 55 square feet. And that is Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 14.